Hey guys, and welcome back. If you haven't been here before, my name is Tiffany with Hot Mess Planning. So today I wanted to finish the setup on my 2019-2020 planner, um, just to kind of do a little bit of an update, but mainly focus on the note pages, whether it's the before the month note pages or at the end of the planner note pages. Um, so one thing that I wanna start with is every year when I'm thinking of Hmm, what am I gonna add to next year's planner? Yada, yada, yada. I always find myself saying, if she adds more note pages, I'm totally in. Like I am adding all the note pages possible. And then when I go to set up my planner the next year without all those extra note pages, I never know what to put in them. So if you are like me, let me know down below because I'm really starting to struggle <laughs> with this thought process that I have, you guys. So, I wanna start with this. So what I plan on doing is using this page as my budget page. Um, I've always put a budget template here, but what I'm gonna do is just turn this into my budget page. I'm not gonna set these up today. I'm just going to set up the last pages. And then I'm still not sure on this page. Maybe I'm gonna use like a dashboard, like catch all for sticky notes. I'm not sure. I think what I'm gonna put here is the memories for the month. I love keeping track of like different things that we've done that month or things that have happened that I just really like to keep track of. My monthly goals, um, there's only four spots here. So I was thinking of doing like a monthly goal for my faith, for my finances, for my family, and then I don't, know about this one um i'm thinking i'm going to use this part for important dates for the month things that i really need to like zone in on that are going on that month and then i still haven't figured this part out um i thought about getting a planner kate kit for this page but i don't know if i can justify just spending the extra money just to label it when i mean i can technically print my own stickers to label so that is what I'm gonna do for there. And then in the very back of these note pages are what I'm gonna set up today. Um, I think I'm gonna fast forward through the actual setup um, depending on how long this video gets. So I am going to give a little bit of a beginning and then we'll see where we are. So I am going to copy over this section which i have like the projects for my house i just do a checklist that i transfer every year and i add to it and subtract i don't transfer the things that we've done that year and then a reading list i like to try to keep track of books that i read i haven't always been successful so and then i want to turn these into quote pages and bible verses and what i want these to be is in previous planners i've always pre-written it out and then I never go back and look at it. So I really want this to be a section where when I read a quote or I read a Bible verse, it really, really resonates with me this year. I want to put it here. One, so that I'm having to come back and look at it. And two, so that I have it here. The next, I'm gonna do my Christmas list. I usually have different sections for people in our family. And this is where I write down, like as they tell me, oh, I want this for Christmas. This is where I write it down. This isn't necessarily just for Christmas. This is any gifts for the year. And then I just have like kits that I want for the future. And then I don't know what I'm gonna do with these pages yet. The coloring pages I still use like as a sticky note dashboard. So I'm going to go ahead and get started in this and we'll see how long it is to see if I fast forward or not.
that should do it. So that is how I am doing my note pages so far. This is what I've got. I'm really excited about these two pages, like I said. And here we are, and I'll fill it in later and I will be done. I'm not gonna fill it in until I kind of have all the information. I know there's several projects that I need to take off and add to our list, so. I hope you guys enjoyed this and thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, give it a like and subscribe. Um, and I hope you guys have a very blessed week. Bye.